Well, while we've been just focusing on the heptathlon, the men have been coming out and getting ready for the 60 meters final, the seventh gold medal to be decided this evening. That's the lineup of the eight men who will settle into their blocks very shortly. Defending champion Richard Kilty goes in lane seven, but first of all, another Briton, OG Edaburum, season's best of 6.63 to qualify as a non automatic qualifier from the semi finals. Edaburum goes in lane one. Amori Golatin, perhaps the outsider in this final. Mediterranean under 23 champion over 100 meters. He's in lane two. Well, he was very impressive in his heat and semi final. The 21 year old Joris Van Hul set a personal best in the semi finals of 662. This man's gone faster though this year. Emery Zephyr Barnes. Fastest man in Glasgow at 6.55. Silver medalist two years ago in Belgrade. Still only 22 years of age. Jan Volko of Slovakia. Usually a very quick starter. Well, twice the national indoor champion for Greece. And a man who's impressed during the heat in the semi-final today. Konstadinos Zikos. Richard Kilty, two-time defending Richard European Kilty. indoor champion, former world indoor champion. Now 29 years of age. And on the outside, the reigning German champion Germany, over 60 meters. He's improved to 656 this year. 20 year old Kevin Cranks. This is how they made their way to this final. Well, we've had six titles already decided on this, the second day of the 37th fifth edition of the European Athletics Indoor Championships. This is the last title to be decided. For my money, a very evenly matched field. Nobody in particular has stood out as a prohibitive favourite. Barnes has been running fast times. Kilty looked good as well. Franz and Zikos also men to keep an eye on. On your marks. So as they settle into their blocks from the inside, Edaburen of Great Britain, Bolletin of France, Van Gool of Netherlands, Barnes of Turkey, Volko of Slovakia, Zikos Greece, two-time defending champion Richard Kilty of Great Britain, Northern Ireland in lane seven. And on the outside, Kevin Krantz of Germany. occasion. Zikos fifth, his first slightly below par race after two very good runs in his heat and semi-final for Volko. In lane five, Volko comes through for Slovakia's first gold medal at these championships. 22 years of age and he's been running well this year. 
went very close to his Slovak national record of 6.57, just one hundredth shy of that in Madrid about four weeks ago, three weeks ago. 6.60 here. Fastest European indoor final for a, for a while, but uh, nevertheless, very exciting race. Here's replay. Well, very even start. Barnes, Volkov, Zikos, Kilty just a little bit further back at this stage. Van Hul running very well at the moment, but then over the last 10 to 15 meters, Volkov just picks it up and comes through. Camera angle just very slightly deceptive. Well, Volkov, probably about third with 20 meters to go, comes through very strongly in the final part of the race, just pipping Barnes. Barnes thought he got it just after the line, but perhaps a little bit disappointed. Shout out for Joris van Poel in lane three, equaling his personal best and getting a very unexpected bronze medal for the Netherlands. It's certainly a very exciting race, although, of course, as you made allusion to the standard, actually the slowest winning time for 23 years since Bloomer in uh, 1996. <laughs> Well, we can't have Carsten Barholm in every final. Indeed, indeed. But a good race. I'm sure the crowds would have enjoyed that. Confirmation of the results of the men's 60 metres. Jan Volko of Slovakia, 6.60. Just a few hundredths outside of his national record. Emir Zafir Barnes, the Jamaican-born Turk, 6.61 in silver medal position. And... An unexpected and very welcome bronze to the Netherlands.